ice cream eat? <laughs> Did they eat a nuke? I don't know. That's a catfish. Barely get that big. I've just never seen one so big in my life. <laughs> I don't even think it can fit in there. Uh, so that's what we're doing today, buddy. We're going to be cleaning these fish. Hi there, folks. It's Mandy from Kemp Freehold. Welcome if this is your first time here. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, <laughs> I'm going to be cleaning catfish. Have you ever seen such a big catfish in your life? And it's still alive. Yeah, it's still alive. It's, oh. um, it's, cat, it's catfish zilla. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, a friend of ours brought these yesterday. And today, uh, I'm going to clean them. Matt was going to do it yesterday, and he looked so tired. I said, well, I'll do it, honey. I'm regretting my life choices now, but here and we go. I'm, and I'm, and I'm helping. And you're helping, that's right. Mason is being my assistant by pulling out the catfish out of the cooler. Um, we're, I don't know, hour, 45 minutes in, and this is all the first we've gotten. Um, I will... Uh, and here's these poor butchered pieces. So far, I stink at this. Uh, this is definitely a different type of skinning than doing perch or uh, any other uh, fish with skin, with uh, gill or scales. They all have gills, man. Oh my gosh. All the ones that have um, the scales. Uh, I may never ever ask Matt to keep a catfish like ever again. This is hard work. Um, I've what tried that? several different methods. Um, there's one method where you use these pinchers to pull the skin off. I don't have enough strength to get, to get that to work. Um, so I'm just basically trying to fillet them out and then get the skin off of the bottom. And I'm not great at it. <laughs> but I guess practice makes perfect, right? Yay! This one... I think it might still be alive, so I'm going to hit it in the head with a hammer, so then it dies. So here we go. I'm not going to photograph that, though. So here is what we do with the left, like the leavings, the bones and the body and the insides. The chickens eat them. So it's a good source of protein for the chickens. And you see the ladies over there with the skin, the skin bits over there. And so this is a nice way to supplement our feed. And nothing goes to wait this way also. This is the last one. And uh, he's still alive, so I'm going to have to kill him. Um, Matt said I should be able to hit him in the head hard enough with a hammer, but I don't really think so. Uh, so I am going to use a, this screwdriver and put it here and use the hammer and put the screwdriver down through its head. Um, that'll make me feel better. Uh, for those of you that are squeamish, uh, sorry, this is just a part of homesteading. Like, if you eat meat, this is a part of it. And uh, I would rather, some people just fillet them alive, and I just think that's cruel. So uh, we like, I like to make sure they're dead first. So I'm not going to film this part either, because Kaz is scared to film. He doesn't want to watch. So. so it is noon, and the catfish has been cleaned and rinsed and bagged into vacuum sealed bags and I still have to clean up uh, my tools and stuff and clean the kitchen because the sink is finally fixed yay thank you Matt and I can really clean my kitchen or I have no excuse not to now so there's that if this kind of stuff is of interest to you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye